Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on building out the LilyGo T Lora pager. So by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to install Launcher. We'll load four different firmwares on the micro SD that you can switch between. So we'll give you Bruce and all the fun things you can do with that. We'll get Meshtastic on here with a full keyboard. We'll show that all working. We'll get the Mesh Core Ripple firmware on here and the Blackout Comms Chatterbox firmware on here as well. And you'll be able to switch through those on the fly using the wheel and the micro SD. So you can change between them at will without having to plug it into computer or anything like that all self-contained so let's jump into the bill of materials all right so here's our bill of materials we're going to start with the lilygo t lora pager and to that i'm going to add a 16 gig micro sd card you can go bigger if you want to do like excessive p capping or something like that but for launcher to work we're going to need somewhere to store our images so i'm going to use micro sd and i'll go ahead and plug that in now and as an optional upgrade, you can do the support T lower pager. This is the NRF 24L01. And this thing just plugs right into the top of the T lower pager. And this is optional. You only need this if you want the NRF 24 menu to work in the Bruce firmware. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, now on the computer, I'm just gonna search for M5 launcher and I'll click the first link here and we'll scroll down to launcher flasher. And here I'll do the beta release, LilyGo. I'm gonna pick the t Lora pager. And now before we do connect to device with the device turned on and the screen on, I'm gonna plug in the USB-C. Then I'm gonna hold the middle button, press the left button and let go of the middle button and we'll know it worked because the screen stays blank. Then I can click connect to device. I'm gonna allow this. And here we can see we've got our JTAG serial debug unit. So I'm gonna connect. And now I'll hit install t Lora pager. We'll do a erase and hit next and install. All right, now that launcher has been installed, we're going to grab the firmwares. Unfortunately, you can't do the OTA yet because they don't have the firmwares loaded in there. So I'm gonna do this by going to bruce.computer. I'm gonna click on explore GitHub. I'm gonna to go to the latest release down here. And I'll scroll down to the assets section and I'm gonna grab the Bruce Lilygo t Lora pager bin. So we'll save that. Next, I'm going to go to flasher.meshcore.co.uk. And down here, I'll click on Lilygo T Lower Pager. I'm going to do the data on the SD card, and I'm going to download the app firmware bin. Next, I'm going to go to offgridcoms.club, and I'll click on Download Mesh Firmware. I'm going to click on Download here, and down here, I'm going to click on Pager. And we'll save that. And lastly, I'll go to github.com slash meshtastic slash firmware. Here I'm going to go to issues and I'm going to search for pager. I'm going to go to this bottom one here, scroll all the way down and then come back up a little bit. And so you can go directly to this link. I just want to show you guys where I found it, but it's the nightly builds. So here I will search for pager and I'm going to download this zip. Now I'm going to plug my micro SD into the computer and we'll go take a look at our downloaded files. I'm going to unzip this one. And I'm going to rename these so that it's convenient. I'm going to name this Bruce.bin. The Ultra, I'm going to rename MeshCore. Chatter, I'm going to rename Chatterbox. And inside the firmware here, I'm going to rename this bin file MeshTastic. And then I'll copy all of these bin files. MeshTastic, MeshCore, Chatterbox, and Bruce over to the micro SD and paste them. Now I'll eject the micro SD, we'll throw it back in the pager and jump back over to the bench. All right, now that launcher has been flashed and the micro SD has been prepared and inserted, so the buttons go power, boot, and reset. And because we just got done, I'm gonna hit the reset button and we'll see the launcher boot screen. You can hold down the encoder to boot into the launcher menu. So right now it's just gonna boot into it because we have nothing loaded. But once you load a firmware uh, on boot, it'll show the launcher splash screen and then boot into whatever firmware is loaded. You can hold down encoder to get back to this menu. So here I'll just go into SD and we can see our bin files from the four firmwares. So I'll start with Bruce and I'll pick that one and I'll just hit install. And now we can see it's booting the Bruce firmware. So now all of the functionality that's supported by the hardware is gonna work in the Bruce firmware. Uh, the one thing to note is the NRF24, if we go into it and try to do like a spectrum, you'll see NRF24 not found. If you put on the NRF hat, then we can go back to NRF24 and we can go to Spectrum and now you can see the Spectrum is actually up and running. So this little hat here will add the NRF menu to the Bruce firmware. The power button, I haven't found a way to turn it off with the power buttons yet, but if we go into config and we can go to turn off, that's how I power it down from inside the Bruce firmware. You can hold the power button to boot it up. 
So if we hold power, we can go to launcher. And now if I hold the encoder down, you can see it takes us to the launcher menu. So now I'll do meshtastic. If I select that bin file and hit install, now you can see we're in the meshtastic firmware. So we'll go through the setup very quickly here. And now that our meshtastic firmware is here, the encoder wheel uh, moves us through the menu. So you can see the messages, channel utilization, our position. We don't have a GPS lock yet, but that'll show up once we get a lock. So now testing out reception from a TDEC, if I say, so I'll say, hello there, Lily Go Pager, and I'll send that. We can hear the audio alert. So new message received, hello from Lily Go Pager. What's really neat is we can go to read aloud and it's pretty robotic, but do it again. So it'll actually read the messages back, which is pretty cool. So then I can also send a message and say, hi. Hi from the pager. And we can see we got hi from the pager. So Meshtastic is all completely up and running on here. So when the screen blinks, the way you get it back on is with the middle button, you just give it a click. Uh, it'll also flip through the menu. If the screen is lit up, you can hold the middle button down to turn it off. And when you let it go, it goes to shutting down. So that's how you turn it off and you can reset it with the left button. Now I'll boot it back up by holding the right button and I'll hold the wheel, go to SD. And next we'll do Chatterbox and I'll do install. And here we have Chatterbox and it's not actually going to work until it acquires a GPS signal. So I'm gonna take this outside for a minute so that, oh, it got a lock, we're good. And so now we can see we've got the blackout chat, blackout comms chatterbox all up and running on here. So I'll hit the left button to reset it, hold the wheel down, go to SD. And the last one we'll take a look at is MeshCore. So I'll go ahead and install that. And so we can see MeshCore Ripple. And here we can see we've got Ripple all up and running. So now I've got four different firmwares. Just by hitting reset, we can load back into launcher, hold the wheel down, go to SD, and we can just reinstall any one of these four firmwares right from the menu. All right, so at this point, you guys should have the Lily Go Tilo Repager all flashed with launcher, the ability to switch between four different firmwares. You got Bruce on there with the optional NRF24. You got Meshtastic with a full keyboard. You got the off-grid comms chatterbox as well as the Mesh Core Ripple firmware. So it's time to get out there and start playing with this thing as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.